this is Captain Chaudhary. Today I am going to speak about the transfer of position line. We are doing transfer of position line in terrestrial navigation. We are also doing the transfer of astronomical position line when we take long bike round in the morning and the running fix is done with the help of the latitude by meridian altitude position line at the time of meridian passage. But let us first try and understand the basics of the transfer of position line. What is the necessity of transfer of position line? Transfer of position line, the usual application is to get the running fix. What is running fix? Running fix is a fix which is not simultaneous fix. The most apt thing to state is running fix means it is not a simultaneous fix. A fix needs at least two informations, right? If the two informations are not acquired simultaneously, then what you would get is the running fix. Running fix is based on the information that is combined. The two informations which are combined and the two informations are separated by a time and distance. You may have one information available at 8 o'clock, another information available at say 9 o'clock. Now this 8 o'clock information and 9 o'clock information are combined with the principles of running fix or the principle of transfer of position line. In fact, a running fix is in two categories. One category, if the first information is bearing line or a position line, then we would call it transfer of position line. But if the first information is position circle or a distance, then we will call the operation as transfer of position circle. Let us first understand transfer of position line. And in the simplest of cases, let us say that the vessel is coasting and we have taken the bearing at say 8 o'clock in the morning. So here is the coastline. Here's the lighthouse. We've taken the first bearing, which is say at 8 o'clock, right? And when I've drawn the terrestrial bearing line, please remember you must put arrow on one side, that is the terrestrial bearing line and the timing should be written more or less in the line of bearing. We are somewhere on this bearing line but we don't know where we are. So let us assume that we might be over here. Your assumption that you are over here will make no difference because uh, what we are going to do is in the end we are going to transfer whatever the end point we get we are going to transfer the entire bearing line. So I will explain you why the selection of the point does not make any difference but what is important is you should select the first point on the bearing line. We will try to make the triangle starting from this point in the following manner. Suppose the wind is from north and you are actually steering a course of 090. There is a leeway of 5 degrees so 095 will be plotted and suppose there is a southerly current of 3 knots, engine speed is 12 knots, there is a speed over water and current is 180 degrees into 3 knot and we complete the triangle this way. This is the situation 1, course steered, course made good triangle. At the end of 2 arrow line, at the end of 2 arrow line, what we will do is we will transfer the bearing line that was taken at 8 o'clock and I will call this line as the transferred 9 o'clock line. 9 o'clock because I have written the time 9 o'clock here and transferred line because I have put two arrows here. So this is how I transfer the 8 o'clock bearing line to 9 o'clock transferred bearing line and this line will be used for finding out the running fix. At 9 o'clock I have one more information. There is a beacon that beacon bears 110 degrees. So I take the bearing and plot the line. This is 9 o'clock current information. This is 9 o'clock transferred information. So this is the 9 o'clock fix. And this 9 o'clock fix must be given the time. Any position line, any transferred position line or any fix, whatever, whether simultaneous or running fix, it has to be given time otherwise as I told you before you are insulting the position line or you are insulting the fix. If this is the 9 o'clock position that is the running fix 
where was the ship at 8 o'clock. So for that what is to be done is the two arrow line or the CMG line is to be transferred back because from 9 o'clock if you draw a line that is parallel and reciprocal to the CMG DMG you will get 8 o'clock position. So what I do is I pick up this CMG DMG and place it here. So let's see how you get it. This is the actual CMG DMG and this was the probable position at 8 o'clock. If I had selected this as initial point the CMG DMG line would have brought me here. If I had selected this point I would have come here. If I have selected this point I have come here. If I had selected this point I would have come here because in the end we are transferring the initial bearing line. So wherever you select your initial position so long as you have selected a point on the first bearing line you will get the same position for 8 o'clock same position for 9 o'clock this is called running fix the running fix is often also explained with the help of the single light that is available in an area and your radar is say not working say this is the lighthouse and you are coasting like this this is the first bearing say for example at 8 o'clock and then what happens is you don't have the radar working and you are going to probably use the same light after some time. So this is 8 o'clock position line. I select any point. I once again make a similar triangle. And at the end of two arrow line, I transfer the line parallel to the first bearing. And that becomes the 9 o'clock transferred line. You don't have radar working. You don't have any other light what you can do is you can take another bearing at 9 o'clock. This is the 9 o'clock bearing line. This is the 9 o'clock transferred bearing line. So this is the fix. And once you've got the fix at 9 o'clock, how to get the 8 o'clock position, go back parallel and reciprocal to the two arrow line. Probably you were here at 8 o'clock. In a very brief explanation, I will try to explain you the combination of the morning sun sight and the meridian passage that we do, typically called as noon sight, right? The detailed noon sight we'll be doing at some other time, in some other video. But at the moment, I just want to explain you how uh, this particular set of observations, astronomical sight, is also I'm wanting to transfer of position line. Let's see, there is a trans-specific passage that I'm talking about and here is the 9 o'clock DR, right? This is 9 o'clock DR and you have used this 9 o'clock latitude to take the position line you got. This has observed longitude. This was probably the direction of the body that is the bearing of sun at 9 o'clock. The position line will be perpendicular to that and we usually on the chart indicate it as 0900 if the time of observation was 9 o'clock ship's time. Now what the second mate does or what the third mate does is he finds the DR and he transfers the position line there. So this becomes the position line at 12 o'clock. Now with his calculations, as I said, the details I'll be telling you afterwards. Suppose he finds out that the meridian passage was at 12.25. So 12.25, he gets the meridian passage gives him the latitude by meridian altitude over here. Now, if this is 12.25 and this is the course line, this must be the transferred position line for 12 o'clock. Now this transferred position line and this transferred position line they meet here and this becomes the known fix which is indicated on the chart like this. This is what is the known site calculation.